Module 2 describes procedures for icing and shading oysters. Applying ice immediately following harvest can significantly limit the growth of Vibrio bacteria in oysters. Harvesters are required to adequately ice oysters within two hours of the time of harvest or prior to leaving the point of landing, whichever occurs first. From July 1st through September 15th, harvesters in shellfish growing areas in Duxbury, Plymouth, Kingston, and Katama Bay in Edgartown are required to ice oysters within one hour of time of harvest or exposure, or prior to leaving the point of landing, whichever occurs first. Oysters must remain adequately iced in the icing container until you deliver them to the original dealer. Harvesters must use a shellfish icing container that is smooth, in good condition, is easily cleaned, impervious to water, insulated, self-draining, and with a tight-fitting lid and light-colored exterior. If your containers are not kept in good condition or they are not routinely cleaned, you can introduce bacteria to the shellfish. When applying ice to oysters, harvesters may choose to use only ice or an ice water mixture. Oysters in mesh bags or placed loosely in the icing container must be surrounded by two inches of ice on the sides and bottom and three inches of ice on the top. If you use an ice water mixture, the oysters must be fully submerged and the ice water mixture must be at or below 45 degrees Fahrenheit to inhibit growth and proliferation of bacteria. The harvester must write the time of icing on the harvester tags in each lot at the time of icing. When a shellfish icing container is being used to transport a single lot of oysters, you may choose to record the time of icing for the corresponding lot on a single tag attached to the outside of the icing container. The tag must also include the information for the corresponding lot. All oysters should be adequately shaded immediately after harvest and until they are placed in a shellfish icing container and adequately iced. You are encouraged to avoid placing shading material in contact with oysters to allow for adequate airflow. Materials in direct contact with oysters or bags of oysters must be smooth, easily cleaned, and impervious to water. 